Oh, hey there. Looks like you caught me working on the Unleash Your Potential program. A program which we provide hardware to makers, builders, and creators just like you so that they can turn their dream projects into reality. So without further ado, Alec, won't you roll that awesome intro you made? Welcome back. Today we're going to be chatting with Daniel, an Unleash Your Potential contest winner, who's actually working on a sci-fi animation using Blender and System76 hardware. Personally, I'm really curious to see where he's at. So why don't we go ahead and check in with Daniel now. Hi, my name is Dan Voigt and I chose the Kudu laptop to help me with my project. I'll be creating a sci-fi scene in Blender. I originally chose the Oryx Pro, but due to unavailability I went with the Kudu. The Kudu has a switchable NVIDIA graphics, which will come in handy for doing this project. Uh, rendering just, you know, even one part of an animation can tie up my desktop for a day or two. So having the Kudu to help me, you know, do modeling on individual components or, you know, work on other parts of the project uh, while that's happening will be very useful. I'm a big fan of Linux and open source software as a whole. I've been interested in Blender for years, but I've always been, uh, it's been kind of a mystery to me, uh, seemingly steep learning curve. Um, but about eight, eight or nine months ago, I guess, I, uh, I decided to finally jump into learning it head first. So I'm glad I did as I've been, re you know, it's been rewarding and has given me an additional outlet for my creativity. So as I learn more and more, I keep pushing myself to try different and bigger projects. And, what I've decided to work on for the Unleash Your Potential program is an animation that will be roughly 45 seconds to a minute in length. And the idea is to essentially, we'll have the camera move through a mad scientist's laboratory, discovering clues as to, you know, what, what things have taken place there. Um, and it'll have like an early 20th century feel for the most part. I'll be attempting some different techniques I want to try, such as particle systems to create rain on windows, using geometry nodes to generate cobwebs and I'll be designing and modeling everything in the scene myself. So I'm going to definitely learn a lot and I, I can't wait to show everybody how it comes out. 